It seems strange to be sitting here and with an empty auditorium uh, behind us when we know that uh, hopefully on April 13th that the McGowan Theater will be filled at 7 p.m. 7 p.m. indeed, I hope so too. Each cartoon that we've chosen seems to freeze a moment in time. A moment in time and a moment in history. I mean, it's really quite remarkable how uh, this little book captures in pictures uh, the history of the United States. The first cartoonist was Benjamin Franklin. He seemed to be the first of everything. I think one of my favorite ones from uh, the National Archives collection is the David Levine uh, of Johnson. Lyndon Johnson had been operated on. There's something not a little crude about a president who at a press conference opens his shirt and shows the scar and then Levine takes over because it, that scar becomes the scar of Vietnam, yeah. and this is what he was dealing with daily. I really started the research with the, the famous Tom, Thomas Nast, his fight against Tammany and the, and the marvelous stories where the boss Tweed tried to bribe him and send him off to Europe and would have paid any amount to get rid of him, and, and the famous line, and I don't care about uh, who reads, but I, uh, I gotta stop those damn pictures. You know, Tom, the to same Tom Nast that we love, he went after the Irish, African American. There were a lot of cartoonists who represented the prejudices the biases of the time, and it's all there in these cartoons. This is the cartoon that Malden drew when JFK died. He, he had two hours to draw it, he'd already oh, missed really? the deadline, oh, really? and he went in and said to the editor, can you, can you get the cartoon in? Well, in fact, when they looked at it, they thought it was so great that they printed it on the whole back side, back page of the paper. For, for a great cartoon, you need a rough, tough, you, you need... FDR. You need FDR, right. yeah, that's right. The first one that we use is the Peter Arno cartoon, a very triumphant FDR in the chauffeur-driven limousine with Hoover, who is just absolutely so deadpan and sad. It was never used, and yet it's one of the most well-known and most well-remembered cartoons. It was never published. <laughs> yeah. So my favorite era is really the Nixon era because, I mean, no one has ever gotten the wrath of the cartoonist more than Nixon. You've got uh, Paul Conrad, you've got Herb Block, you've got uh, everyone you can think of going for the Watergate tapes. This is a quote in our book from a historian named Larry Mintz, and he says, it takes a confident and aggressive society to consider its most serious problems and reduce them to jokes.